Nearly half the adult population grapples with high cholesterol, a silent precursor to heart disease. Cholesterol, a waxy substance in our blood, is vital for hormone synthesis, cell membrane structure, and digestion. Yet, its excess poses significant health risks. We distinguish between bad the low-density lipoprotein, LDL, which clogs arteries, and good high-density lipoprotein, HDL, which clears them. The culprits of high cholesterol include diets rich in saturated and trans fats, sedentary lifestyles, and obesity. Particularly, trans fats are notorious for their dual harm, raising a bad and lowering good for cholesterol, with no amount considered safe. High cholesterol is generally considered a silent condition because it has no obvious signs or symptoms for years. When it does manifest, it often does so as serious conditions like stroke or myocardial infarction. However, early signs that can suggest high cholesterol include xanthelasmas are yellowish lumps of fat material accumulated under the skin or around the eyelids. Xanthelasma is a quite common condition, affecting around 1% of the population. Sometimes, xanthelasmas can develop without high cholesterol levels, but they have a strong correlation with high LDL levels. Xanthomas are fatty deposits found under the skin, such as on tendons, hands, elbows, and buttocks, and are considered the most clear sign of high cholesterol. They appear as slightly bumpy patches under the skin, usually of a yellow to orange color. When blood cholesterol levels are significantly increased, fat seep from the bloodstream and are deposited under the skin. This is common in familial hypercholesterol, as well as in some cases of liver diseases and uncontrolled diabetes. Another important sign is corneal arcus, a gray or white arc visible above and below the outer part of the cornea. In young people, especially before the age of 40, corneal arcus is a very strong indicator of high cholesterol levels. Peripheral artery disease is characterized by leg pain during physical activity, which goes away during rest. This condition, known as intermittent claudication, involves pain, burning sensations, or significant discomfort such as fatigue or cramping during physical activity, often affecting the calves but also possibly the thighs and buttocks. Symptoms like numbness, weakness, and coldness in the legs can also occur. Peripheral artery disease symptoms are consistent, starting after a predictable amount of distance walked and worsening over time if left untreated, with atherosclerosis being the most common cause. Thus, high cholesterol is a main risk factor for peripheral artery disease. Angina, or chest pain, is a very important and serious sign indicating a long-standing high cholesterol level. The mechanism involves cholesterol deposits in the arteries narrowing their lumen, which leads to oxygen starvation to the heart. Symptoms include chest pain described as pressure, squeezing, heaviness, or tightness, usually occurring just behind the breastbone and potentially radiating to the arm, jaw, shoulder, and back. This chest pain is often triggered by stress, physical exertion, cold weather or heavy meals, and typically lasts only a few minutes, relieved by rest or nitroglycerine. The lipid panel is the most common initial test for screening cholesterol levels, measuring total cholesterol, LDL, HDL, and triglycerides. The first line of treatment includes a diet low in saturated and trans fats, regular exercise, weight loss, and smoking cessation. If these measures are insufficient, the second line of treatment involves statins, medications that dramatically lower LDL levels. For individuals with low cardiovascular risk, the LDL level should be less than 100, the lower, the better. Medications such as atorvastatin, simvastatin, and pravastatin are considered very effective and safe in lowering cholesterol levels. Although rare adverse effects can include liver problems, increased liver enzymes, and rhabdomyolysis, which is a serious condition but very rare and associated with high doses of statins. For people with heart risks, statins are recommended for long-term intake. 